Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome to the call today. I've muted everybody, so hold on, John. I'll tell you in a second. Uh, so if you have a question or you want to unmute yourself, so, John, just hit star six to unmute yourself. Ladies and gentlemen, we are very fortunate today from the lovely um, mortgage company called Prosperity Mortgage. Okay, we have Mr. John Youssef. John, welcome to the show. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you just for having star me. six. There you are. All right, cool. My pleasure. Thanks for being on, man. Love it. Yeah, absolutely. So tell them a little about yourself, how long you've been doing this, all that good stuff. Yeah, so uh, my name is John Youssef. Uh, I've been in the mortgage industry for about seven years now. Uh, I started out at Wells Fargo. Um, actually, that was my only mortgage job before this one right now. So uh, once the market started shifting, I kind of made, made the jump uh, to Prosperity Home Mortgage just because, um, you know, when they headhunted me, I liked, I liked what I was hearing in terms of their programs and just their their overall uh, business plan. Yeah. yeah, and, and you know what? It's a great company. I work for the same company, the same parent company. It's a great company, and I, I love what they do, too. It's good stuff. I always say Uncle Warren usually does well. <laughs> yeah, yeah, you, you, can't, you can't go wrong following <laughs> Mr. Uncle Warren. <laughs> yeah, you can't, people you can't go, go have wrong. you met him? I go, no. I go, no, I've never met him, but I still call him Uncle Warren because it sounds cool. <laughs> <laughs> it sounds more personal, right? It sounds like you, you know the guy. Yeah. You tricked me. <laughs> well, yeah. See that? See that? Well, that's why I wanted to be honest with you too. I just I say that because, and I usually say that as well. I go, I've never met him, but I still call him. Now, because here's the thing, and, and I've done this. I don't know if you've done this in your life, but I've had coaches, Mike Ferry, Tom Ferry, I even Matthew Ferry. I've all of them. You know, I've used Brian Buffini as a coach. I've used, you know, so I've then I've coached a number of people, but then. I, I, Mark Stark was my mentor, uh, still is in a lot of ways. But then I went on this little kick where what I do, and that's what I do today too, by the way, is I pick a book or a couple books by an author and I kind of just fall into it. And Warren Buffett was definitely one of them. I've been reading about him since my, uh, you know, mid-20s uh, about, you know, his investing philosophy and, and all that stuff. Same with Charlie Munger. So I don't know what, if you've done that, but I kind of like take – a good author and kind of go uh, like, you know, some people, um, what do they call a binge? They binge watch uh, like a series. I binge listen yeah. or read an author for a while and consider them my mentor for that time. <laughs> I mean, no, that's, that's great. Of course. Yeah. I mean, that's, that's the best way to learn is, you know, people say you learn the best from your mistakes. And if you can actually take that same concept um, and learn from other people's experiences and mistakes, through what they've written, um, that's huge. That's that's probably one of the best ways to learn and, and just have professional and personal growth. Yeah, absolutely. I love it. Okay, cool. All right, my man. Well, tell us, you know, okay, so I know, I mean, let's face it, uh, the rates are a popular thing right now, right? So give us an idea of what's going on out there. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's, uh, it's the hottest topic in mortgage right now, <laughs> the interest rates. Uh, but yeah, I mean, look, we can't we can't run away from it. It's the rates are higher than what they've been for the past, um, I don't know, two years. Uh, we're looking at an average thirty-year fixed rate of a little over seven percent now. Uh, so you can't run away from it. The best way to to to, to deal with it and cope with it um, is through who you work with and who your lender is. So uh, and I'm glad I'm on I'm on the call today because. Uh, prosperity, and one of the reasons I joined is because how well they adapt to the ever-shifting market, right? Um, so introducing right. programs that we, we never had to adapt, um, introducing processes that we never had to just to adapt to the market. So uh, I wanted to talk about this program that we just rolled out, um, and it's called a, a 2-1 buy-down. It's called temporary buy-down, and basically it just – you know, basic concept of it is uh, the sellers right now are offering to pay down uh, the buyer's rates. If you look at all the listings, majority of the listings, I should say, uh, in the description, the agents will write, oh, you know, uh, the seller willing to pay down, uh, you know, uh, buy, help the buyer buy down the rate. So we can use that 
and use it instead of a, a permanent buy down, which will buy down the rate uh, permanently, but less uh, and do a temporary buy down. So for example, let's say the rate at 30 year fix right now is 7%. If we use the temporary two one buy down, the buyer's first year will be 5%. So it'll decrease the rate by uh, 2% the first year. The second year will be 6%, so it'll decrease the note rate by 1%. Then the third year will be the note rate, which is 7%. So it helps the buyer tremendously with the payment shock in the first couple of years. Uh, the good thing is, is that in that time, the buyer can refinance at any time. Uh, so on average, people in California refinance every five years. And so that would fall right into that five-year average and they can refinance and, you know, the rates will be lower because real estate is a cyclical market. So it's a huge program. I'm very, very excited about it. And um, I've seen it work magic. I've seen it work magic. So very excited about this program. All right, cool. Yeah, I think that was a great explanation too. And, you know, I mean, people can also do lender, I mean, excuse me, seller funded buy downs too, right? I mean, you can buy your rate down, uh, so this is mainly this is mainly a, this is mainly a seller funded buy down. It's only a seller funded buy down. So okay, the cool. sellers actually pay uh, for for this program. I love it. I love it. So, so you can actually advertise that in your listings too, right? A hundred percent, a hundred percent, and that's it's beneficial for listing agents and buyers agents to, to just know about this program because. As we see, um, the the houses are staying on the market for a lot longer than they have been over the past two years. They're not flying off the shelf anymore, Rick. So, you know, it's it's very, very beneficial to um, offer this program to to your buyers and let the sellers know, like, hey, if you want the house to sell, this will entice the buyers to come look at your house and entice them to buy. We're talking about a difference. I agree with you. in my market, we're talking about a difference of about four hundred dollars on average monthly the first year, and then the second year two hundred dollars a month on savings monthly payment. So that's huge. That's huge for you know the payment shock that the buyer may experience. Right, and, and, and you know we were we were spoiled. I, when I say spoiled, I mean you know um, I really had no intentions of refining refinancing my property. But when the rates came down and I could I could do it at 2.9 or 3, I did. I'm glad I did now, especially. But, um, you know, it's one of those things where um, you have to, um, you know, you just have to pay attention. And like I said, you know, um, a lot of these um, a lot of these people aren't going to be in their house. They're not going to be in the mortgage for 30 years anyway. So you have to ask yourself, you know, what's the best way to do that? And, you know, you can, you know, you can buy it. You can do a 2-1 buy down or you can even just buy the rate down a point or a point and a half, whichever. Some people like to have, well, I know I want it to be fixed. So there's a way to do it fixed as well, correct? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. It, it depends on, I mean, everybody's personal situation is different. So uh, you can do a permanent buy down. Uh, you you know, you may be able to buy down the rate from 7% to maybe six and a half or so. Um, the, the benefit of the two on buy down is, like I said, if you're going to refinance anyway, because you don't want that six and a half. Right. Um, pay less money monthly. Do you know what I mean? Um, so the, the right. six and a half, you're gonna your monthly payment will be a little bit more than the five percent that you will have for the first year, for example. You know, let's say rates do get better in that one year, then you know I would have been paying less at five percent. Does that make sense? But yes, to answer right. your question, you can do a permanent buy down as well. So, they, so they, you, you, I guess the key is just to give them options. I, I like your two-to-one for sure, two-to-one buy-down, because like you said, it eases them in. And, you know, if things change in even two or three years, you know, and they for some reason go down, which I don't know, with this current administration, they're talking about, and when I say that, I mean the Fed, that they're, they're talking about, um, you know, raising the rates again until they get inflation. I don't know why they don't see that they keep raising them, but the inflation still stays the same. It really goes back to the amount of money they pumped into the the, the economy uh, in the last couple of years. I don't see why they see that, but it looks like that's their only way they believe they can curb inflation. And uh, if they keep raising the rate, well, of course, it's going to continue to face to uh, affect the uh, mortgage rates, right? Yeah, yeah, absolutely. I mean, with the Fed, uh, 
and inflation, raising or, or hiking the rates is the only weapon um, that they have against it, against inflation. So the only way they know how to do it historically is is just by hiking up the interest rates, and that seems to have worked in the past, you know. But like you mentioned, the money that they pumped in, we 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 went through an unprecedented situation with you know COVID nineteen, where the the government had to do something. So their solution was to, you know, let's print forty percent of our economy since no one's working. Um, but you know, obviously the consequences are much more dire than they expected to be. Um, so it's just an unprecedented situation. So I'm not sure of of, of them hiking up the interest rates if they keep doing that, whether it's going to curb inflation or not. They may have to figure something else out. But as of right now, you're right. That's the only weapon they have against it. So um, they will keep hiking up the interest yeah. rates. But I feel like it can't go on like this. They can't just keep hiking up interest rates forever and ever. You know, like how long are they going to do that for? Yeah. Are we going to reach 10%? Are we going to reach 11%? You know, um, but... I, I guess we'll see. I guess we'll see. Yeah. Yeah, I but don't know what as, else. As we, I don't know what they – go ahead. No, I was going to say, as we saw, I mean, a lot can happen in one year. So we went right. We went from, you know, in January of this year, the rates were, you know, in the twos and threes, and now we're in the sevens. So I, I can see it also, the switch flip in the opposite way where – we're in the sevens, but, you know, in a year, a year and a half, we'll be in the fours. You know what I mean? So a lot can happen in one year. Right. Yeah, a lot can happen in one year for sure, um, as long as they, uh, like you said, you know, they can't just keep hiking them up. And if, if they have, as they, I just don't, don't know what they were expecting when they, you know, think about that. 20% of the money in, 20% of our money currently in, in circulation in this country was put in circulation in the last two years. So if you think about that, you go, well, think about that. That's like, that means like, that's a lot of money pumped in. I mean, I don't know what, what else they were expecting. So the answer is, yeah, once you do something like that, the interest rates is the only way that they believe, but they just got to let that work its way out. You know I mean? They don't have, my opinion is they don't have to keep hiking the rate. That's going to work itself out eventually because of the amount of money that was pumped into the economy. All right. So right. people have money, you know, so they, they they just, but you know, they get so much bad press on it that they want to put it under wraps as fast as possible. But unfortunately, um, it, they could do, they could accomplish their inflation r- rate goal at the expense of several other things. And I hope they finally come together and see that and go, well, you know what? Yeah, I mean, they rate the, they they raised the rate 0.5, 2.75s, and then another full point in what in what period of time? That's that's the fastest in the history of our yeah. country. So I just hope that they say, okay, we're there now. We the rate isn't going to affect it much more. So let's just stop. But all that being said, uh, I'm not I'm not a Debbie Downer. All that being said, I've sold real estate since 1985. So, you know, I mean, and I know people hate to hear this. When I started, the rates were 14, 15 percent, right? So, yeah. And we yeah. were selling homes. We were selling homes. Yeah. The problem is they've been, we've been spoiled for so long. Uh, people need to adjust. This is more of a common, everyday, even market. Okay, that um, you know, as a real estate agent, I would get excited about because you know a lot of the people that are only doing this part time, or if everything goes right, you know, probably won't survive a, a, a market like this. And it really lets the people who know what they're doing thrive in a market like this. Yeah, absolutely, absolutely. Um, the real estate is is actually local. Um, which what, what I mean by that is, there are markets for sure that you know the prices of homes are down and and the, the homes are not selling as much. But in my market, you know, Orange County, LA County, um, San Bernardino County, uh, in er- certain areas, certain cities, homes are still selling. Um, people are still buying homes. So. It's it's obviously stopped some people and took some people out of the market, but this is why it's such a good time to buy right now because um, it's less competition that you're sa- you're facing on on every home. So when you're putting in offers, you're not you're not fighting thirty other people to get the same home. Uh, you may be up against one or maybe none, and you actually have the power to negotiate with the seller before 
we can never even talk about your the seller paying down your interest rate or buying down your interest rate for you. That that was never even an option. You you were lucky if the seller even took a look at your offer. But now you, the buyers right. have a little bit more negotiation, you know, negotiating power and uh, just being able to say, hey, you know, I want this, I want that, or include this credit, or you know, help me pay closing costs or, or whatever it is. It's such a good thing to have for the buyers. Uh, and a lot of people are not seeing it, but it's such a good thing to have for the buyers. And I always say, you know, focus on the payment because if you can afford this payment for one or two years, you can always refinance out of it. Um, so that's, you know, that's what I tell my clients now. That's what I, I'm, I'm preaching to the agents that I work with. Um, you know, I cover four offices, so I work with about 150 different agents. Uh, it's, it's, it's something that it's important to educate your clients on, you know, um, let them know that they have some power now um, and just afford the payment, make it work uh, for the next couple of years and, and then refinance out of it, which is why I'm a huge fan of this two one buy down is because it actually gives you the time with the lower payment to, to adjust and then refinance, you know, um, you know that's why I've been preaching about it. So, yeah. No, and, 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 and I've heard that you're, I heard you're saying, uh, you know, marry the house, date the rate, a lot more since we did that Facebook Live, too. A lot of people are using that. I see it on right. social media and everything, too. So Yeah, you're seeing that, right? It's very accurate, too. Yeah. Yeah, I am. Yeah. You should have, cop- should have copyrighted that sucker. <laughs> I should have panned it. No, it's all right. That's you know, you my, my advice is free, man. I, I, I don't charge for it. There you go. I love it. All right, cool. All right, so so anything? Okay, so I, I know you mentioned the two to one buy down and why that's important, and the seller can obviously um, fund that, and that's a great marketing piece for our listings. Uh, anything else as far as um, you know? Like I know you guys have some really good rate locks too, right? Like tell me a little about that, please. Yeah, of course. Um, so we actually have a couple of unique programs that that kind of help us stand out, and uh, one of them is the the ten thousand dollars. Um, you know, guarantee. Basically, we offer ten thousand dollars to the sellers and the buyers, so five thousand each if we don't close on time. Um, so that's one guarantee, and, and I've never seen a company do that. But what you're alluding to and what you're referring to is is our um, you know extended rate lock that we offer for free, uh, which is basically we lock in your rate because we're in a rising rate environment. We can lock in your rate for ninety days prior to you being an escrow, prior to you finding a home, uh, free of charge. And that's huge because, you know, let's say the rates today are seven and by the time you find a home, the rates are at seven and a half or eight. Uh, you can actually lock in and secure the 7% for up to 90 days uh, free of charge. And, you know, and that helps you shop with a peace of mind. Um, I actually have a client right now, and we're, we're, he's about to sign off. I locked him in at five and a half. He just found a home two weeks ago when rates were at six and a half and closer to seven. He actually would not have qualified for that home had I not locked him in at the five and a half interest rate. So him being locked there helped him find and his family find their dream home. And that's how huge this product is. It's, it's definitely something that I highly recommend. And what's cool is within that time, we actually underwrite the loan. And so when you do find a house, uh, all we have to do is the inspection and appraisal and you're done. Uh, so it's a win-win situation for everybody. And, you know, I, 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 this is something else, another product that I preach to uh, the agents I work with because, you have I, no idea how many times I've heard agents say, oh, you know, my buyer backs out because they no longer qualify for the home. And I tell them, well, I've been telling you guys, <laughs> I could have locked it in that rate and just helped them qualify uh, regardless of when he found the home, you know, and we can extend the rate too uh, beyond the 90 days. So, you know, it's a huge product as well for us and, and something that I really like about this company. Yeah, I, I like it too. I, cause, you know, it, it, like you said, and it puts people in the right mindset too. You know, um, I, 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 a lot of people I've been talking to recently, the buyers they're really selling are the ones who have exactly what you're saying. I, I locked my rate in. 
you know, and, and what makes a buyer more uh, motivated to buy than when they have a rate lock, let's say 30 days ago versus what it is now. They're like, Ooh, I better do something because my rate lock expires in 60 days. So the sooner you get them locked and the sooner you get them in uh, to a program, the more value they're going to see to that. Right. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. And you know, what's awesome, Rick, is that they can combine that program with the two, one buy down, meaning that if I lock them in at 7%, they can actually do the two and buy down with it and be at 5% for the first year. How awesome is that? That is great. No, that's great. That really will motivate somebody who's on the fence. And like you said, I mean, now as a buyer, I mean, look at, it's always something. I don't know if you're old enough to remember Roseanne, Rosanna Dana on Saturday Night Live, but it was, that was the end of her, uh, her, her little spiel. So if you haven't seen that, John, go on, uh, go on YouTube and just type in Roseanne, Rosanna Dana. And she always finished her, it, uh, it was Gilda Radner. She always finished uh-huh. with, it's always something. So, you know, a, a year ago or even nine months ago, uh, you were one of 12 offers. You'd be killed, but you, know, but you had a three, three and a quarter rate, but you couldn't buy a house. Yeah. Now, the <laughs> exactly. rates are higher, but you can pick your house up. So that comment or, or that statement that you made about marry the house, date the rate, I think that's really important to look at right now because you can get the house you want. The rate's not forever, but the house could be. So I think that's a yeah. really good way to look at it right now. And by getting them fully applied, fully done, fully through underwriting, locked and ready to rock, and then combine it like with a two-to-one buy-down, I mean, that's what I would do today if I was a buyer for sure. Oh, a hundred percent. That's what I would do too. That's, that's what everyone should be doing. Honestly. Um, I mean, we, 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 we get all the work done up front, you know, and, and that's, it makes just closing so much easier and helps us close really, really fast as well. So it's the product that we're offering right now, again, is just to, we're trying to want number one, support the clients, but also support our, our real estate agents in this ever shifting market, you know? So that's what's why I love about this company is that we, we adapt and then we figure out how to support all the parties involved, uh, the clients, the agents, the loan officers, even, um, to just make everything easy on everybody. So, uh, it's, it's huge, man. It's huge. It's, I love it. I love it. Cool. All right, my man, any final words you want to leave these wonderful people today? Uh, no, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Um, if you guys have any questions on, on, on anything mortgage, or if you want to run scenarios, uh, if you don't know, uh, where to start, you know, give me a call. I'm more than happy to help. Uh, text me, call me, email me. I'm, I'm always available. Give me your phone number too, John, please. Yeah, absolutely. Phone number is 626-825-9407. Uh, my email is john, J-O-H-N dot Yousef, that's spelled Y O U. S S E F at PHM loans.com. All right, my man. Awesome stuff. Really appreciate your time. Keep it rocking. And, uh, you know, like if I was an agent today, I'd definitely be using you guys, whoever is in my current area, you know, cause we have, I mean, you mentioned some really good things about prosperity. I will say from me looking, uh, from the outside in, the number one thing for me is, uh, prosperity has attracted a whole bunch of wonderful loan originators like yourself. And let's face it, you know, because, you know, you come from a big bank, you know that uh, mortgage broker is the place to be. And then the right mortgage company that has access to all these programs and so forth. But it really boils down to the person you're dealing with. And that's what's really important. And that's why I think we have a great you guys have a great team. So congratulations. Yeah, you hit you hit the nail right on the head there. Uh, who you work with definitely matters. Um, so, you know, let, let, let me help you guys. Let, let me put you in the home. Uh, this year, next year, or anytime. <laughs> yep. I love it. All right, John, keep it rocking, my man. Everybody else will do this again in a week. And thanks, John, for your time. One more time, my man. Have fun. Thank you, my Thank friend. You. Appreciate it. Bye-bye. You got it. Thank you. Bye.